Don't shoot! It's me! It's Abby! What's up gamers? Gooba here, and today I want to show you my strategy for taking on the Rat King during the Ground Zero chapter of The Last of Us Part 2. This is a fast-paced and intense boss fight, but with the right preparation, it's a little less daunting. Little side note here, I will not be going over collectible locations in this video. This is strictly meant to be a guide to get through the boss fight itself. Also, the recorded gameplay for this video was on hard difficulty, so it might be slightly different than survivor or grounded difficulty. The way I see it, there are four stages to this level. The first is preparation. As you've probably done throughout the game already, loot everything in the areas leading up to the fight. You will need all the ammo and supplies you can get, but I would prioritize ammo for your higher damage weapons like your shotgun, assault rifle, flamethrower, and hunting pistol. Also keep an eye out for alcohol, containers, and explosive charges to make pipe bombs. There are a few supplies outside the hospital, so make sure to explore thoroughly before going in. Once inside, a cutscene will play. After the cutscene, Nora will lead you to the door to the lower levels. From here, you're on your own. Explore each area for supplies. Eventually you'll reach the ICU, but it's locked, so you'll have to drop down to the lower level to continue. The way forward is through the yellow door surrounded by biohazard signs, but before you go through there, head into the chapel for supplies. You'll need them later. After going through the yellow door, you come out into a reception area. There are no infected in this area, so loot everything. You need power to get through the red ambulance entrance or the door to the trauma center, but you can attempt to open the trauma center door for a little sneak peek at what you're up against. Who the fuck is that? Slip through the open door to the surgical suites. You'll hear infected, but don't worry, they're behind locked doors. Enter the first open door on the left. Keep an eye out for the stalker stuck to the wall. They all wear jeans for some reason. Use a silenced pistol or a crossbow bolt to take it out before it springs to life, and then loot the room. Go back out into the hallway and continue to the next room. There's some loot here, and you can also follow the power cords through a hole in the wall to get to the next area. Loot the area and use the workbench to upgrade your weapons before you move on. You won't have another chance. Start the generator and turn on the power. You can now use the double doors to get back to the surgery wing. Now that the power is back on, the clickers can get through the doors and out into the hallway. Deal with them quietly with shivs or silenced pistols to conserve ammo. Also keep an eye out for the stalkers on the walls. Once the infected are cleared, loot the entire area. Head back out into the reception area and you will see that the trauma center door is now burst open and there is a fleshy, bloody mess inside. Also, the red door to the garage is now open, with a trail of blood leading up to it. Aren't video games fun? Go through the red door to the garage and loot everything you can find. This is the last area before the fight starts, so make sure you have your flamethrower and your shotgun, preferably with incendiary shells equipped. Your other weapons are fully loaded, and you've crafted all your pipe bombs and used all your supplements. When you're ready, enter the ambulance. Get ready to celebrate. second stage of the level, the chase. There's not much to say about this besides just run. You can't damage the Rat King during this section, so just keep moving until you get to the door with the axe. After you get a few hits in with the axe, you and the RK will fall through the floor and the actual fight will begin. Welcome to stage three. When the fight starts, unload whatever you have in your flamethrower and then run. The key to the fight from this point on is distance. Keep moving, put a pillar or a wall between you, and when you've got some space, spam him with your shotgun, hunting pistol, assault rifle, and pipe bombs. There will be crafting materials and ammunition spread out throughout the area, so pick it up when you have a chance. Having auto pickup enabled really helps in this scenario. If you need to reload, change weapons, or craft, make sure you are far enough away. RK is crazy fast, so even if you're all the way on the other side of the arena, you may only have time to craft one, maybe two items before he gets to you. About halfway through the fight, a stalker will pull himself off of the Rat King and you will have to fight it as well. I recommend avoiding the stalker and focusing on RK. 
If it gets too close, just dodge its attacks and keep moving. As long as you continue to move and spam the Rat King when you've gotten some distance, he'll eventually die. Don't get complacent just yet though, because the Stalker is still alive and will flee through the door into the next area. Make sure to loot the entire area for supplies you haven't picked up yet before following the Stalker through the door. After slipping through the door, you will follow the Stalker up into an air vent where it will attack and you'll fall through the ceiling into another room. You've now reached stage 4. Fighting the Stalker is a little different than the Rat King. Stalkers try to hide and sneak up on you, so you have to keep your head on a swivel. The area you're in is a lot more cramped, so try to jump over gurneys and through windows to keep your distance. Also, it likes to throw spore bombs, so keep moving to avoid those. I recommend sticking to the shotgun or flamethrower if you can, because sometimes when the Stalker sneaks up on you, it's hard to hit and you need a weapon with a wide range. After a few good shots, the Stalker will go down as well, and you're finally done. Now just loot the rest of the area, lift up the garage door, and that's it. You've officially conquered Ground Zero. Thanks for watching. As you can probably tell, I like talking about The Last of Us. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments. I may not be the most skilled gamer in the world, but I had a lot of fun making this, and I plan on making more videos like this in the future. Like the video because it makes me happy, and we're working on a ton more gaming videos, so make sure to subscribe. May your survival be long, and may your death be swift. Okay, bye.